Eight and a half out of eleven. More like a baker regenerating into a Mc McCoy. Who are you? What do you want? What do I want? I should be asking you that question. Give me that. Hey! I am the real Glenno. Welcome. So back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the next five minutes. You're the real Glenno. And how do the folk out there know that I'm not the real Glenno? Ah! I don't know. Perhaps it's that demonic-like creepy voice that's coming out of your mouth. Not a good enough reason. Okay. What? You didn't know which episode you were going to talk more about pacing it. I know for a fact that it is going to be episode 7. And 2. You're wearing a sweater. And I know why you're wearing a sweater. It's because you're not from around here. You're feeling the cold. Or not used to the Christchurch weather. Stop it! Alright, you have me. So what are you going to do about it? Kill me? So, how are you doing? This is hardly electrocution. Electrocution? Don't you mean execution? No. You've tied me up in an unplugged power cable. Well, while you review your situation, allow me to review the episode. Let's begin. I delighted in the homage to Pertwee's Doctor, reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. And I remember saying, oh, please, please give us a fourth Doctor. And Matt Smith comes out with, would you like a jelly baby? I like it when things like this pop up in New Who, because it tells me, reminds me, that Classic Who and New Who, although they are very different, are still part of the same universe, that they are linked it's always a treat to us Who fans. And yes, Doctor, shenanigans is a lovely word. Okay. Flesh Doctor saying to Flesh Amy, push, but only if she tells you. While it's a nice cryptic phrase, which I surmised at the time meant for giving birth, why? Flesh Doctor is a copy of a real Doctor, right? So he, too, would suspect that the Amy before him is her ganger, and she is clearly not pregnant. So this didn't make sense to me. So the only thing that would qualify this pointless comment would be that there is a psychic link between Flesh Amy and real Amy, and that perhaps Flesh Doctor was trying to get a message to real Amy through Flesh Amy. I'll have to rewatch A Good Man Goes to War, um, but I don't remember um, this theory being verified in that episode. Mm. Oh, and just when I thought that the Doctor would be without his screwdriver again, out he whips it. And with it he... and how can I nicely put this? Ah, uh, decommissions Flesh Amy. Which highlights a problem for me. How come are there two sonic screwdrivers? Real Doctor gave his sonic screwdriver to his Flesh Doctor, did he not? Or was that Sonic a Flesh Sonic screwdriver? Can the Flesh 
synthesized technologies as well. Unless there was a production crew mistake, flesh can also recreate fabric. Because if you remember, when、uh, Jenny's ganger comes up out of the goo, she's wearing clothes. So this theory brings into question just how dangerous is this compound? I mean, if it can reproduce something like.、Um, A fully functional atomic bomb, then there is ample room for real big trouble. Well, for me, it was the rewatch value. There was just so much to digest, and、uh, knowing which doctor is the flesh doctor, and that Amy was in fact flesh. Well, it shed a whole new light on the episode. And I could see how real Doctor、uh, was leading Amy Flesh all the way. Now, I said in episode one of the New Who review about the Doctor being in the dark and how us, the audience, had been put in on a spoiler, and how much I delighted in that. And then I said that I was disappointed after watching episode six. Oh, this is why. When Flesh Amy was talking to who she thought was Flesh Doctor, she told him about watching him die, and I knew then that my fun was over, had ended, finito. And I can remember visibly deflating. It really pissed me off. Having said that, this dilemma did give Matt Smith some really good, chunky stuff to act with.、Um, I believe、uh, that some of that anger that the Doctor was putting on for Flesh Amy was real, and I have to agree with Tony Galashan. I hope I said that right. <laughs> of the Who cast.、Uh, When he said that the doctor's shouts of "Why" carried a double meaning: one, why do humans treat beings they decide are lesser than themselves with prejudice, and also, and more closer to home, why had Amy kept him in the dark about his death, and why are you keeping me alive? I'd rather death. Than to have to listen to your dribble of a review. Dribble? This isn't basketball. You're a basket case. I've changed my mind. I'm the real Glenno. Neither of you are. <laughs>